Hey what's up guys, this is MJ and today we're going to be building the engine for this car. And we're going to do it all in this one episode. We're not going to like half, I'm not going to like half ass it or anything. I'm just going to just completely build the engine. And then I'll install it in another video and then put all the fittings in here. Like the um, brake clutch fluid and shit. Reservoirs and then we'll put the lights and bumpers on. And that will be in the next episode, but this episode we are going to be building the engine. So let's just get right into this. And again, I'm just recording this like right after I recorded the last video. But um, so you guys will hear, still hear my computer, probably. I wouldn't be surprised. Alright, where is the crankshaft? The crankshaft is right there. There it is. Alright, so we'll put that in. And come on, really? There we go. Okay. Um, we have to put the main bearings in. All right. So here we go. Here we go. Put. Oh, is it turned the wrong way or something? Oh no, it's not. It's weird. It's just finicky. Forgot. Forgot how finicky this was. I've never really had, actually had a problem with the main bearings, but. I guess now I'm actually going to have a problem. And I actually did take apart an engine in real life. It was um, a V6. It was like a three, three point, three and a half liter V6. It was, it was pretty similar to similar to this. All right. So now what we have to do, we have to put in the pistons. So let's get this first piston right here, and it connects to the crankshaft. But this, this is actually pretty accurate to real life. Because I, I could actually say that because I actually took apart an engine in real life and it's it's actually really hard in real life. It takes a long time. It takes well, especially because it was it was like a class that I had in real life, so it took a little bit longer than it would normally take. But that's that's fine. It's fine because it's it's real life. This is a video game, so. Actually, it would probably take the same amount of time, just minus the, like, like, positioning would take a long time. And getting all the screws in, like, sometimes, like, there's a lot of times where I was screwing in something, and it's just, like, on a really weird angle, or if it's, if it's too rusty, the bolts will actually, like, not come out at all, and you would have to, like, I would have to get, like, a torch, like, an acetylene torch, and then just, like, um, light it like heat it up so that it would expand and I could get it out like it uh, happened a lot with the like the old spark plugs so we're gonna work on the top actually no we're gonna work on the side I'm gonna work on this side all right so we need to put on this little shield the engine plate I've never really seen this actually in real life I've never seen this I've never heard of it but whatever all right and this doesn't need any screw- SHIT! When I tried to put on the starter, and I did not have that on. And the starter goes like right in there. Alright. So, now we need to put on- We need to put in the camshaft. And the camshaft goes like right in the middle of the block. Now we need the, um, camshaft gear. It needs to go on right there. Now we need the- The, um- crankshaft pulley there we go and this connects to the um to the crankshaft <laughs> and i got i gotta tell you guys the fucking this thing is really hard to get off in real life like especially if it's an old rusty ass engine it's just so hard it's such a pain in the butt i forgot we have to put on the um on the timing cover before we can put that on because i had a lot of problems with the like the water pump because I couldn't get that in because I know it goes there but I didn't know that this was supposed to go there first there we go all right so now we're gonna get this thing on and boom just like that so let's put on the water pump next so this is the water pump pulley and it goes right here come on there we go oh our thirst is getting up a little bit it's creeping up and so is our fatigue so what we're gonna do, we're just gonna deal with that real quick. 
and bang get some sausages and we're gonna get some some water they're not gonna have any beer because it's just i don't know we don't want to be drunk while we're thinking now we'll put on the alternator the alternator goes right here boom just like that oh shit we gotta get the timing belt because I, I actually bought the timing belt when we were at the store so we'll just pick it up Get the fan belt, which ironically this does not connect to any kind of fan, which is kind of strange, but whatever. Okay, we're just gonna put that on, like, come on. I need to loosen this. Yeah, just like that, so you can put it on. That makes sense. There we go. See, exactly as I said. And so, to tighten this thing, you actually have to it as tight as it can go but if you put it too tight while the engine's running it's just gonna it's just gonna break it's just gonna snap but you have to actually put it a little bit looser than what it is and then you put in the bolt let's put it together with the clutch the clutch doesn't really need any screws at all but in real life it needs some small screws flywheel that's what we're doing all right and you know what actually we'll put on the flywheel last because it doesn't really matter right now. The flywheel, we can just put on the clutch. Can we put the clutch on the flywheel? Nope. We're gonna put on the distributor. Where's the distributor? It's, oh, that's the oil filter. Okay, the oil filter needs to go on somewhere around here. Okay, no, maybe it's on the other side. Some other stuff on the other side. Okay, um, and then I'm gonna turn this around. Yeah, there we go oil filter it goes like right on this thing and that will stick right there and then that that's a screw itself and then the distributor okay no it goes right there <laughs> I knew that totally knew that the starter let's put on the starter the starter goes right here okay the fuel pump here we go the fuel pump probably goes right there yeah it does go right there I've never seen that what can we do next? Let's put on... Let's start doing the top. So we're gonna have to put on the cylinder head. But we'll quickly screw this in. Finish screwing this up. And then we'll just go and sleep. And then we'll be right back. Alright guys, so we're back. It's a brand new day. And I'm dirty as fuck. So let's do something. Alright, so we're gonna put on the rocker cover. The rocker shaft. Oh, that's what it's called. So we're gonna put the rocket cover on right now. All right, and boom, shakalaka. So I'll be right back when we get this on the engine stand. I really gotta say, this fucking engine hoist is so fucking realistic. Like, when I'm, I'm talking about like how long it takes, it really is realistic because these things take a long time to fucking hoist up. Is it gonna do anything? Is it even on? Is it? Wait, is it? Really? It's it? It's on? Fuck, it's not on. What the hell? I think I could put the oil pan on anyway. So. It's so crooked. There we go. Boom, just like that. I know it's not. doesn't look aligned, but should probably still work. Okay, maybe not. Okay, maybe maybe the transmission needs to be on too. We'll put on the transmission. Oh shit, we gotta put on the flywheel first. And we also need to put on the clutch. And it goes right there. Now we got to put on the clutch. And the clutch doesn't need any bolts. And the clutch just goes on the flywheel. Just like that. And then the transmission goes on. And it goes on just like that. Alright, now we gotta do we gotta put on the drive gear and the drive gear the drive gear is right here. There we go. And the drive gear goes like around here. It goes like right here. Yeah, right there. Yeah, exactly as I said. Kind of. <laughs> okay, now let's try it. So we gotta put the engine down like that. And we gotta get the 10 millimeter bolt back. Okay, but look at this sound. Did I hear the sound? I didn't hear the sound. Let's just finish this damn engine. Let's just finish it. We'll finish it. Right now. Because this is ridiculous. This fucking piece of shit. Whatever. We're gonna put in the spark plugs now. 
Alright, now we're gonna put on the electronics. Go like right on the spark plugs. Right there. So now we're gonna put the carburetor on. Just like that. Anyway, guys, we just got a little visitor. And you guys should probably know who he is. We'll put on this carburetor. This um, exhaust manifold. And do we need the air filter right now? I'll just put it on top. Doesn't really matter. Get a 10 millimeter bolt for the engine hoist. Hopefully it doesn't fucking. Hopefully it works this time. A wasn't. A wasn't high enough. Oh, maybe A there wasn't enough parts on it, or something. Or maybe I was just putting it on the wrong fucking way. Probably. That makes sense. Yeah, that's probably what I was doing. I was probably just putting it on the fucking wrong way. All right, so we gotta loosen these bolts again on this fucking piece of shit. And then, oh crap! And yeah, that works. That works. So we'll just screw this out, and then we'll screw it back in. All right. And this better fucking mount. And it did not work, did it? It didn't work. Let's try hoisting it. And it didn't fucking work. I really, I this thing is fucking broken. I swear to God. This thing is really broken. So, guys, um, I guess we'll we'll save this for the next episode, or maybe I'll just try to get it in myself. Anyway, guys, I'm gonna end this video here. I got some shit to do. Thank you guys for watching. If you guys did enjoy this video, make sure to slap that like button, and I'll see you guys in the next video. And thanks for watching.